Hi, I'm Maggie Weldon from maggiescrochet.com and this video is sponsored by Premier Yarns. So I'm going to show you how to make this gorgeous alpaca dance shawl and it's made with Deborah Norville alpaca dance yarn which comes in a bunch of beautiful colors and most of them you can see right here. So the color possibilities are endless with this and the yarn is 75% acrylic and 25% alpaca and it's great for making wearables or home decor like afghans and the skeins are three and a half ounces or that's a hundred grams and there's 371 yards um, per skein and it's a hand washable yarn and the crochet gauge is a number seven and the knitting needle size us is a number seven also so um this the beautiful um array of colors in the shawl are make it a really nice um, project and um, the colors that were used in this are beaver um, two balls petal pink one ball artichoke which is the green and that's one ball also and then snow for the white color and then lemon lime for this outside green color so the crochet hook is a us number i9 which is a 5.5 millimeter and you will also need a um, yarn needle and this skill is intermediate and one of the things i do like about this shawl is that when you join as you go it creates these big spaces so you could actually take one side of the shawl and push it through, bring it through, um, you know, a couple of these spaces to keep it, um, you know, on your shoulders. So anyway, I'm going to go to a close up now and the links to everything are listed below. And I want to thank you very much for watching. So here's the close up of the flower dance shawl. And as you can see, they're all joined together by crocheting them together versus sewing them together. So what you want to do is complete one square completely. And then when you're finishing the every square after that, you're going to be joining the last round to the previous square. So on my sample here, I'm going to be using the colors lemon lime in the center, petal pink, silver frog and my outside main color will be soft white so to get started let me push this aside and you um, in the beginning you're i'm using a size i crochet hook which is a deborah norva wood hook and it's very soft light uh, warm in my hand to use i love it so then uh, the pattern starts out with a chain five. You start out with a slip knot. I leave a long end on the tail of my slip knot. And I chain five and it says to slip stitch in the first chain to form a ring. And to do that, all you do is go back to your first chain right here, yarn over, bring that through, and then bring that through the loop that's on your hook. And that's joining with a slip stitch. And now you have your center of your ring right here. And I'm going to be working over the end of my starting chain also. So now it says to chain one and work eight single crochets into the center of the ring. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven and eight and one of the reasons why I like to work over the end of my starting chain is for times like this when that hole is a little bit big in my mind so if I just pull that end from my starting chain I can make that smaller and then the hole in the middle is not so big so then what you want to do here is join with the slip stitch to the first single crochet so right here, I go underneath those two loops right there and I draw a loop up and then bring that through the loop on my hook. So there's my round one complete. And now it says to chain one. So now I'll be doing round two looks like this. And the round two is a single crochet and a chain four in each um, stitch around. 
So I'm going to do a chain one. And I'm going to single crochet in the same stitches joining. I'm going to chain four and I'm going to single crochet in the next one and then chain four and single crochet in the next one. Chain four. So all the way around I'm going to create eight chain four loops. So it looks like a little flower right now. See? So that's how yours should look. And then in the end, you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And the last one, you join with a slip stitch to the first single crochet, like this. And then you just chain one to lock it and pull the back. And then cut this round. So I always hold it like this and I cut in the back right here. Okay, so I'm done with my green color for now. And now I'm going to go to the pink. So I'm going to start with a slip knot on my hook and now I'm going to be making the petals. So to make the petal, I'm just going to join with a single crochet into any loop, any chain four loop. To do that, I'm going to start with a um, slip knot on my hook and I'm going to insert my hook like this. I'm going to yarn over, bring that loop up and then yarn over and draw through both loops and that's joining with a single crochet. So now I need to complete a petal which is um, a half double crochet and three double crochets. And then a half and a single. So you create that same petal in every chain four space around. So you just go to the next chain four space like this, do a single, a half, three doubles, a half again, a single. So you just do that all the way around and then when you get over here to your last petal, um, I'll be working my petals, I'll come back on camera and show you how to do uh, how to finish that one off and start the next round. At the end of round three with the petal round, um, you, to join it after you get done with your eighth petal, you'll um, be finishing with a single crochet in the last petal like this. And then all you do is slip stitch, join with a slip stitch to the first single crochet of the first petal. And you just go in here like this, yarn over, bring that through the loop on your hook, and that's joining with a slip stitch. And then all you need to do is chain one and cut your yarn and then draw that through like this. And that completes round three. Now for round four, we need to create the loops that'll hold the next uh, round five petals. So now we're going to go join between the uh, pink petals anywhere and then chain and then come back around the chains just like we did here and work the next set of petals. So this is round four. You start with a slip knot on your hook and then you join with a single crochet between any of the petals. So right here you go between the single last single crochet of this petal and the first single crochet of the next petal and you insert your hook right here between those two single crochets and to join with a single crochet you start with a loop on your hook like that draw up a loop yarn over and draw through two now you're going to want to chain six for the next round of petals 
and then you're going to single crochet in the space between these two single crochets of each petal around. So I'm going to open up the space between the petals and I'm going to single crochet between them. And then spread this open here and go in between the petals there. And then spread that open, go between those two petals. And I'm always chaining six. So this is going to be what the next round of petals are worked on to. And I'm chaining rather loosely too. Okay, so you'll end up with eight chain six loops, and they're going to kind of fall behind um, round three petals. Now, to join, all I got to do is um, insert my hook in the first single crochet and yarn over, draw that loop out, and draw that through the loop on my hook. And that's joining with the slip stitch to the first single crochet. Now, in each chain six space around, I'm going to create these petals. So to do that, I'm going to work a single crochet, a half double crochet, and five double crochets. So I've got one, two, three, four, and five, and then a half double crochet, and then a single. So that's how I form my first petal, and each petal around will be the same exact way. So now just go into each, this is exactly what you're going to do in every single chain six space around. You're going to work a single, a half, and five doubles, when you work with a little furry yarn like this, it gets tangled more than other yarns. One, two, three, four, five, and then a half double crochet and a single crochet. So you just continue around and see how the petals are forming. So you continue around until you make all eight of your petals and then you join with a slip stitch like we did in the petal round three. And then I'll come back on camera and show you how to do the next two rounds. And that's when I'll be joining this round to that round and I'll show you how that's done. And then we'll do the border and we'll be all set. At the end of round six, you join with a chain two and then a double crochet into the first double crochet and the first single crochet, and that forms the last loop. So you just double crochet over there and see how that forms the last loop. So that's equivalent to a chain five loop, and now you're ready to go on to round seven which is the joining round to this square. So um, for round seven, you want a single crochet in the chain, same chain five space as joining right here. 
and then you chain five and then you work a single crochet in the next space I've got this I'm going to sew in later so you're going to single crochet right here in the next loop and then you're going to chain two to get ready to go into a corner and then you work four double crochets, chain three, and four double crochets into the next chain five space. So you do chain three for a corner, and then you do four doubles in the same chain five space. So it's looking like this now. Like that. So then you chain two and then you single in the next chain five space and then you chain five and then you single in the next chain five space right there. So when you look over here this round is going to look like this. You're going to have your shell in the corner. You're going to have a chain two on both sides of the corner shell. And then on the sides, you're going to have two chain five spaces. And then single crochet stitches in between them. So right now I need to do, I'm on my first corner is complete. And I've only got one chain five space. So I'm going to chain five single crochet in the next chain five space, chain two, and then do that same shell in the next corner. So right in here you just do the four doubles so it's going to look like that along one side. So on this corner you do four doubles just like this. You're going to do right here four doubles, chain three, four doubles and the same thing along the next side. But now when you're, let me show you how you're going to join to your the first square. At the end of round six you join with a chain two and then a double crochet into the first double crochet and the first single crochet and that forms the last loop. So you just double crochet over there and see how that forms the last loop. So that's equivalent to a chain five loop and now you're ready to go on to round seven which is the joining round to this square. So um, for round seven you want a single crochet in the chain, same chain five space as joining right here and then you chain five and then you work a single crochet in the next space I've got this I'm going to sew in later. So you're going to single crochet right here in the next loop and then you're going to chain two to get ready to go into a corner and then you work four double crochets, chain three and four double crochets into the next chain five space. chain three for a corner and then you do four doubles in the same chain five space so it's looking like this now like that so then you chain two and then you single in the next chain five space and then you chain five and then you single in the next chain five space right there. So when you look over here this round is going to look like this. 
you're going to have your shell in the corner, you're going to have a chain two on both sides of the corner shell, and then on the sides you're going to have two chain five spaces, and then single crochet stitches in between them. So right now I need to do, I'm on my first corner is complete, and I've only got one chain five space, so I'm going to chain five, single crochet in the next chain five space, chain two, and then do that same shell in the next corner. So, right in here, you just do the four doubles, so it's going to look like that along one side. So on this corner you do four doubles, just like this, you're going to do right here, four doubles, chain three, four doubles, and the same thing along the next side. But now when you're, let me show you how you're going to join to your the first square. So when you're working, the first square will be a complete um, square, just like this, but any square after that will be joined to a previous square on this round, on this round seven. So when I get to a corner like this, when I want to chain three, instead if I want to join this to the um, corresponding square, I'm going to just chain one, then I'm going to pick up the other square like this, and I want to match it to a corresponding corner. So I'm just going to pick it up, and I'm going to go on the wrong side of the square I want to join to. I've got both right sides like this, but I'm going to pick this up like this, and I'm going to go into the center chain of the corner chain three space on the adjacent motif like this, or square, and I'm going to yarn over and pull that through, and then pull that through. It's like I'm doing the chain, but I'm doing it, connecting it to the other one. Then I'm going to chain one, I'm going to come back to this motif, and I'm going to finish the corner with four double crochets, and now that corner is joined. And then I'm going to chain two, and I'm going to single crochet in the next chain five space right there, and then I'm going to chain two. Now I want to go back over to the square I'm joining to, and I'm going to line up. See right over here, I see the chain two space. I'm not going in there, but I want to go into, join it to the center of the chain five loop over here. So I'm going to pick it up on the wrong side, and I'm going to go into the back side of the center chain on the adjacent square, and I'm going to yarn over, bring that through, and then bring that through the loop on my hook, and then I'm going to chain two. And then I'm going to single crochet back over onto my working square, like that, and now if you look, that's joined, the corner's joined, and that chain five loop is joined. So now I'm going to chain two again, and I'm going to pick this up, and I want to go into the next chain five loop. I'm going to go in the center chain, yarn over, bring that through, bring that through the loop on my hook, and then I'm going to chain two, and then I'm going to come over here, and I'm going to single crochet in the next chain five loop like that, then I'm going to chain two because I'm doing a corner. So now I'm going to put four double crochets into the next corner. Once you get the hang of this, it's really easy. Okay, so now I'm going to just chain one, and I need to join like a whole side, so I'm going to definitely have to be joining a corner here and a corner down here. So now I'm going to pick up the adjacent square and I'm going to insert my hook on the back side of the center chain of the corner chain three, like that, and I'm going to yarn over and then bring that through the loop on my hook, and that's equivalent to the chain one 
and then I gotta chain one more chain and then come back to my working square and finish my corner with four double crochets. Just like that. So now when you look, the whole side is joined like that. So you just finish your square and sometimes you might be joining two mo uh, squares together. So all you would do is um, pick up a second um, corner right here and then um, join it like over here. So this is the one-sided joining and then you would just, to do a two-sided joining, you just, um, you would be connecting to the next square around the other side. But that's how you do the um, final round of the square. So you just continue around just on your working square right here. And then when you come around, you're just going to join with a slip stitch. You're going to chain five and join with a slip stitch to the first single crochet. So that completes the squares and the joining. So the border looks like this and um, there's a shell in the corner, it's two rounds, so there's going to be a shell in the corner and a shell right on either side of the corner and then there's chain five loops and then when you get down towards the corner that um, is attached to the next corner there's going to be another group of three double crochets, then there's a chain uh, I think this is a chain two and then you um, single crochet in that corner. This is definitely a chain five here and you single crochet in the next corner and then you go all the way down like that. And then on the final round you'll notice there's two singles with a chain, uh, I think it's a chain five here and then chain five along the, um, in every space around like this. So. Um, to get started on that, I've chosen this gray color for my outside round and I'm going to start in this corner and show you how to work the stitches down to here. So in the pattern it says to um, you join with a slip stitch like this and then you chain six and that's going to count as your first double crochet and your chain three and you work four double crochets in the same corner space and then you chain two and you work three double crochets into the chain two space and then you chain two and you single crochet in the next chain five space and then you chain five and you single crochet in the next chain five space and then you chain two, did one too many there, and you work three double crochets into the chain two space and then you chain two and you single crochet in the corner and then you chain five and you're going to single crochet in the adjacent corner of the next motif right there and then you're going to chain two you're going to work three doubles into the next chain two space and then you're going to chain two you're going to single crochet in the next chain five space chain five right like that then you're going to chain two three double in the chain two space chain two then in the corner you're going to put the four doubles chain three four doubles like that. So it'll look like that. Except you'll have a lot more squares and just it, it follows the same pattern all the way around. So then when you um, get all the way around and you come back over here you are going to 
just join you're going to work three double crochets into this uh, first space that you worked because this beginning chain six counted as a double and a chain three so you're just going to join to the third chain of the beginning chain three and then i'm going to take i'm going to go back to the white again here to show you what the second round looks like so on the second round you join you could join with a single crochet in the any corner chain three space to do that you start with a slip stitch on your hook and then you insert your hook from front to back like this yarn over bring that up and draw through two and then you just chain five and then you single in that same space and then you chain five and you single in that next space and you just do that same thing all the way around just like that so that's how you finish off your shawl So regardless of whether it's a chain two space or a chain five, you're just single crocheting and chaining five into every single space. And But on the corners, you're doing a single chain five and a single in the same space. So that's how you create this beautiful alpaca shawl. And I want to thank you very much for watching and make sure that you subscribe to our channels.